Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to reading Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Today we're looking at books, again, continuing book six, which deals with the virtues of the mind, intellectual virtues, right? Um, and we'll focus today on chapter 10, which looks at the question of comprehension and good comprehension. So if the other one we looked last time, we looked at investigation and deliberation. Now we're dealing with the question of comprehension, right? Um, again, the, remember what comprehension tends to mean here is kind of, well, comprehension, understanding of things, right? So let's go look at this chapter 10 right here. So he says, so, uh, there is also comprehension, a good comprehension, a reference to which we speak of those who comprehend and comprehend well. So therefore, it's what? It's things who comprehend and comprehend well, right? That's good comprehension. So comprehension is merely those who comprehend, and good comprehension is those who comprehend well. Comprehension is, in general, neither the same thing as science nor the same thing as opinion. Um, in which every case would have contem uh, comprehension, right? In which every uh, everyone would have comprehension. It's not opinion. It's, in other words, it's difference from science. Science is a knowledge from deduction. It's not a science, nor is it an opinion. Okay, it, science is we know something, but it's 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 it is, uh, but it's not like this. Nor is it a sort. Um, nor is it any one of the particular sciences, for example, medicine, uh, uh, in which concerns with matters of health and geometry with magnitudes, right? So it's not a, it's, it, nor is it uh, uh, any one of the particular sciences, it's not a science or any of the particular science. Um, it's, in other words, if it's, if it's opinion, everyone have it, right? But it's not, it's not, it's not even, not, if it's not just general science, not something that's particular to it, right? Comprehension is concerned neither with beings that are eternal and unmoved, nor with just any or every one of the things that come into being. So it's not concerned with the things that are eternal and unmoved. Nor is it, uh, nor with just any or every one of the things that come into being, but rather with the things about which someone might be perplexed and and deliberate. In other words, it's it's a question is that comprehension is not about the eternal things that things that are, are not you know that, that eternal things. Um, Comprehension is deals not also with any everything that comes into being. That comes into being, in other words, is not just with any, but only things that are what perplexed, things that might be perplexed by. You know, we don't know. We it's it's a, it's it's a question. Things that are perplexed, and we would have to and deliberate. We don't know, or we have to make a decision about it, right? Hence, uh, uh, it is concerned with uh, 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 the same thing as prudence. So it's not prudence. In other words, comprehension is not prudence, but it's concerned with, it's, it's, comprehension deals with trying to understand something. We're trying to understand something, either something we don't know, it's a problem, it's a puzzle, we're perplexed, we don't, we don't understand it really, we don't really understand it. We're coming to terms, we're trying to understand it, right? Uh, or perplexed by it, or what we have to make a decision, we have to make a de uh, deliberate, make a, to decide, to just make a decision to, and choose, and not only what end we choosing, what are we choosing, but how to get to that end correctly, correctly, right? So again, this is, it, it, it is, hence it's concerned with the same thing as prudence. Comprehension and prudence are not the same thing, however, for prudence is characterized by giving commands. In other words, it, uh, its end is what one ought or ought not to do. So, right, this is... So, in other words, it's not only a decision, but also 
a command is connected with prudence. What one ought to do, what what you should do. Okay. There is kind of an argument in prudence. There's a there's not only it's a, it is there's a normative element in it. <laughs> we use the language right. There's a normative element. What one uh, that prudence by its definition has a command. What we sh need to do. What we ought to do. But comprehension is characterized by judgment, decision alone. And this is, or judgment, right? This is the word, Crit critique. This is the, uh, um, uh, uh, the phrase characteristic by decision attempts to render a single Greek word, critique, critique. <laughs> this is critic, right? Critical, critical thinking, decision, right? Uh, uh, critique. Whose root is uh, 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 whose root is in the verb means to distinguish, judge, or decide, or determine. Critine, critine, both of which is in the English crisis. Right, this is crisis, the moment of which a critical decision or determination would be made. Crisis, critician, critician. But this is um, judgment. This is a crisis. The moment we have something happens. In other words. It is a uh, 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 comprehension is characterized by a crisis, something that has to make a decision. You need to make a decision. A characterized by a, a, a judgment or judgment or a judgment, a decision or judgment. Alone. And it, this is characterized by a decision, right? Or, uh, is or a judgment. It's character is character. Uh, a, a comprehension is judgment alone in that sense. The word crisis, the word the Greek word crisis, the, uh, the Greek of crisis, uh, uh, critique, uh, critique, or crit determined or determined, critian, uh, both is an effective word, English word crisis, right? Crisis, a crisis, where something has to be decided, a decision must be made, okay? And So let's continue. Let's, for comprehension and good comprehension, as well as those who comprehend and do so well, are the same thing. So comprehension and good comprehension, as well as those who comprehend and those who do so well, are the same thing. And comprehension is neither the possession of prudence or the gaining of it. So in one level, it's you know there's no distinction between comp for comprehension and good comprehension, as well as those who comprehend and those who do so well are the same. It's the same thing. And comprehension is neither the possession of prudence or gaining of it. Rather, it is learning. Uh, rather, just as okay, it's okay, no, it is. It is just as learning is said to be comprehending, right? Understanding, coming to know. Whether it makes use of science or, comp or, 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 or makes use of science, right? Here, Aristotle makes use of the ambiguity of the word mathemain. Here, Aristotle makes use of the verb of uh, ma ma the verb mathemain, which he knows himself in the topics and can both mean to get hold of science or knowledge or to have learned or to have understood i.e. to have comprehension uh, that what makes use of science in this debate. The, the in other words, this is he's making use of the mathemine, this word, the ambiguity of this word here. That is not only get hold of a knowledge or, or what is learned to do this, uh, 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 but now to understand, that is to have comprehension, to make use of it, right? So therefore this double aspect of here. So uh, learning learning is said to have comprehension, right? We understand we now knew something. Uh, it makes use of the thing. So comprehension is said to consist in making use of opinion to render a decision about which someone says, someone else says regarding the matter that prudence is concerned with. And rendering such a decision beautifully, nobly. So, what is this? Comprehension, in other words, it's like learning. It's coming. It's like just as learning is it, it, said to be comprehending. So, comprehension is said to consist in making use of the opinions 
opinions to render a decision about what someone else says regarding matters that prudence are concerned with. So in other words, it's taking the opinions of people about the things that prudence are concerned with and rendering such a decision nobly. For doing something well is the same as doing it beautifully, nobly, right? Coloss, colon, nobly, beautifully. So it's doing it well. So comprehension is looking at what people believe to be about opinions, about what prudence should deal with, the ends of prudence. So it's, it differs. It's coming to know. It's kind of a coming to know, but in, co in terms of this is it's very interesting. So let's read this line again. So cons uh, um, rather, it's like this, but makes use of opinions to render a decision. What someone else says regarding matters that prudence is concerned with, and renders such a decision. Nobly. So it looks at what people say, not the matter itself. Okay. It does it indirectly. It looks at the, what the opinions of others about the, the, the issue. For doing something well is the same as doing it beautifully, right? Nobly. And from this, the same name, comprehension, in reference to which we speak of those who are in good comprehension, those who are of, of good comprehension, has arisen namely from the comprehension involved in learning. Now this is why, uh, or having learned something, right? Here Aristotle makes use of the ambiguity of the word to learn, mathemane. See the previous, so the, the, to learn, right? the verb mathemane, to learn, to know. Again, this is all tied to knowing something. How do we know it? And there's two ways of knowing. There's the knowing through experience, but also the knowing through what others have said, right? So comprehension deals with kind of the knowing of, 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 of at, at a level, this, it, it looks similar to prudence in that it takes the opinions of about what people have, opinions about what is prudentially, what is the right thing to do, what is the right action. I think that's what it seems to be saying here in that sense. And then coming and then doing so, making from their opinions of those things, deliberating, uh, coming with a decision, uh, make a decision nobly, beautiful, correct, the correct decision in a very good, no, and colon manner, right? Because nobly or beautiful manner. We often say learning when we mean comprehending. So therefore, this is, double, this is the double meaning of the word learning. Learning at one level, we mean we learn something, but we mean that, no, they didn't learn it. They kind of got to it. Learning is kind of tied to what? Knowing something. Learning is coming to know, right? Knowing something. And we, it will, starts with opinion, and then we now know it, right? That's learning. Uh, whereas comprehension is well, getting to the right answer, But doing so and getting the right answer, getting it, but doing it not through the, uh, looking at the things themselves, but of the opinions. That's what it seems to look like in that sense, right? So we'll stop here. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below and I will answer them uh, when we get there. This is a very complex chapter, it's a very short chapter. Um, that's where it's, where it's kind of a little bit frustrating in that sense. Right? But if you have any comments, questions, please put it there. If you like it, hit the like button. Hit the like button, please, because by liking it, we helps the algorithms. Uh, share it, uh, share it, far, share it to your friends. Share it to your uh, social media. Share it far and wide. Again, all that kind of stuff helps the uh, uh, the algorithm and that kind of stuff. Uh, another thing you can do is if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, um, um, uh, and if you know others who are interested in these things, bring them to the channel, and then encourage them to subscribe as well. Um, if they're not interested in the ethics, they can be interested in some of the other things we've covered here, uh, the topics and the work of various um, uh, 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 just different things that we've covered here in the, in the channel. Um, 
if you now didn't like it, you have a problem with what I said, you think I did something wrong, you can always hit the negative button. You can always say thumbs down it, but you please say why in the comments. Please say why in the comments. This way we can learn. Okay, uh, we, uh, uh, Others can benefit from this. Um, you can follow me. In, if you want to follow me on social media, my social media links are below. If you want to know more about me and see my scholarship and check my stuff, my research out, and things like that, you can follow my academic social media. The links are below. Another thing you can do is you can, um, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, if you want to help me to do what I do, you can do so uh, uh, financially in a sense. You can do so through subscribe star Patreon links below. Um, and otherwise, what you can then do otherwise is if you want to help, you can always buy one of my books. The books are listed below. You can, buy, you can buy them either through your local bookstore or through an online server, online bookstore like uh, Barnes & Noble or uh, Amazon some other uh, server, uh, book service that you like, online service you like. Uh, that's it. Um, um, I'm not going to get it. Um, you can check uh, next chapter. We'll look at uh, next time we meet. We'll look at chapter 11, which deals with judgment, the concern of judgment. We'll go into the question of judgment a little longer. So this has been a short chapter. So take care and have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.